Hey art fans, what's going on? Uh, we're doing this video real quick because uh, I've been looking through a lot of my old, you know, stuff from uh, my years at Nickelodeon, my animation career, and uh, you know, Fairly Odd Parents premiered in 2001. But before we did Fairly Odd Parents as a series in 2001, we did it as a series of short cartoons from 1998, like all of 98, 99, 2000. For three years, I did short cartoons of Fairly Odd Parents before it became. A series, but I've got some material here that is from the actual uh, short cartoons of Fairly Odd Parents. It's very, very cool, and I want to kind of show you guys this because it's kind of behind-the-scenes animation stuff. A lot of animation is done digitally now, which means you basically draw everything on a tablet. Uh, it goes into obviously it's in the computer. It uh, gets reproduced digitally, and uh, you very rarely get to touch animation anymore. You don't really get to put your hands on animation drawings anymore. There's a bunch of concept drawings people do that are incredible, but even even like concept art is done digitally now. Everybody draws on tablets and electronics, and I get, look, I've got a tablet right here. Here's my fancy tablet. Uh, I'm not down on tablets and stuff because they're all very cool. However, this is some tangible animation stuff you guys can check out. So I want you guys to see this. First of all, well, this is, in front, <laughs> this is uh, a little bit later. This is Tough Puppy stuff. This is not from Fairly Odd Parents, obviously, but, uh, these are really cool, because uh, we were doing Tough Puppy in the year, we started, it premiered in 2010. You can even see, like, they, they even, this, this is uh, done by uh, some Korean animators. But you can see this drawing was even cut out and placed here. But look, it's all hand inked. It's just really cool, there's the highlights there. You see how much work goes into just one animation drawing. There's some incredible detail here in Dudley's face, his ears, uh, these muffins. I forget, oh, this was from the episode Mall Rat, I think from Tough Puppy, I, I think, I could be wrong, but uh, you guys check that out, let me know. But look, you've got the animation peg holes here that keep the animation in register. You've got D5, Dudley drawing five. I mean, um, extremely cool. You see the back of the drawing, all the tape. Can you see that in the light there? The tape, how they had to cut this drawing out with an X-Acto knife, and this is not digital. This is real animation. You can touch this. I could rip it. I didn't rip it, though. Thought I ripped it, but I didn't rip it. No, I wouldn't do that. So. And here's like another drawing, and this is just, this drawing is slightly different than that one. I'll look at that, and now here's, here's the animation chart down here the animator used. Drawing one and drawing two are the extremes. The two middle lines are the in-between drawings there of, uh, the, the animator would do the extreme poses, you know, pose one, pose two, and then these, this is in Korean, I think, I can't even tell, that's like shorthand Korean, oh, that's an actual number there, okay, oh, that we can read, anyway. These are the in-betweens, these are the extremes, so, this drawing, as you can see, can you see this? I think only Dudley's ears move here because he's crying. Can you see that? Am I flipping that correctly? I want to get just right above me here, you can look. Yeah, so there's, see his ears moving there? His head's going, ah, ha, 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 ah, ha, ha. His body barely moves. You can even see a bend in his elbow. There's that arm there. There's, see the arm is smooth, but then it kind of has a little crease in it there. So there's little subtle things in animation, and nothing is an accident. This is not, oh yeah, even his head's moving. Can you see all that? My, okay, cool. Cool. Making sure I got that right. But that's pretty cool. And here's another couple drawings of Dudley Puppy here. Here's the pencil versions of the drawings. Like, that's what a pencil version looks like. And that's what the inked version looks like. Uh, these ink lines here, the lighter ink lines, are all highlights. I mean, think of the time it took all these animators to do all these drawings and to, you know, indicate highlights and indicate, you know, uh, line thickness. And you know, all that stuff. And again, this is prior. Tough Puppy was just prior to the digital age kind of taking everything over completely. Um, yeah, so anyway, here's some original Tough Puppy animation. It's really cool. I think this flips. I'm not sure. Let's see if it'll flip. I can, my flipping skills are still any good here. You get the idea. So what I love, you can touch this. You can actually touch and smell, smell the paper, you know? It's like, this, and this can be saved. If the power goes out, this doesn't get erased. This is here forever, you know? That's why you gotta watch your digital work. You always gotta back it up and make sure you back it up because it, you know, power goes out, computer crash, you lose everything. So uh, make sure you back all that up. Uh, let's see here. So we have, oh, this is extremely cool. Now this uh, is a scene from, this is a bunch of scenes, but this is from Korea. See all the Korean writing here. Uh, this is from 1999. Fairly Odd Parents 10 second ID. Oh, oh we, I know what this was. Uh, it's in this folder. The folders might have gotten mixed up. We did little commercials for Nickelodeon with the Fairly Odd Parents. I had the Fairly Odd Parents pop in, and they they zapped this big orange heart. Uh, it was like it said Nickelodeon on it, and then the, the heart would tip over and dump all the orange paint on them. That's an old clip. You can find that somewhere. But 
This, oh, well, that's not it. Oh, wait, what's in here? Wait, I know what it is. Look, there's some directions from me. Uh, the heart tilting, uh, the, the effects, like the, the burst of magic that comes around the, the heart there. All translated into Korean. <laughs> you see all the Korean up here. But uh, this is cool. This is a title card for one of my all-time favorite Fairly Odd Parents episodes, even though it was one of the original shorts. It's called The Temp. Have you guys seen this episode? Uh, it's one of the first original shorts. Can you see that? Is it too much glare on it? But I drew this title card. It's actually on a cell. You can see this is the cover. There's Timmy Turner on a cell right there. He comes out. There's the cell paint on the back. Shadow there. Uh, the shadow was double exposed. I'd always call for a double exposed shadow. How do you take this solid shadow and make it look transparent? Well, back in the day before digital stuff took over, you would basically shoot that shadow twice under the camera. You'd shoot the shadow once, you'd wind the film back and shoot it again. So it was double exposed and that would uh, make it more transparent. Little old school camera trick there for you. So in this episode, this is an episode where Cosmo wanted to have to leave and get their wands tuned up or something. And so Timmy's like, what am I gonna do? I need a magical friend around here. So they give him, uh, this magical friend shows up. It's just a little rough guy. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, how you doing? I'm your magic friend. Where's the fridge? You know, he's like really hungry. And it turns out he's, a, he's an escaped elf from Santa's workshop. <laughs> And so he's only there temporary. And so he's, and Timmy's like, cool, can you do magic stuff? He's like, yeah, yeah, what do you want? Anything Timmy wishes for, it just turns into a toy. Because all the elves can do is make toys. So it turns out to be a temp. Uh, a very funny episode. Maybe I'll remake it with another cartoon character someday. You never know. But that's a title card. And that was done on a cell, which is really cool. And uh, these cells are over 20 years old. And you can see all the paint on the back there, which is really all hand painted. Extremely awesome. Uh, even the title card, I uh, had animation, you can see Timmy's eyes blink. I have two different cells here. See that one cell on the left and the one on the right, Timmy's eyes are blinking. Uh, so I had, it was an animated title card. It was just, the, the words were changing, but Timmy was kind of in the corner, like shivering. Like he was just, like the title card didn't indicate what the temp was. And so, you know, I wanted to leave the audience in a little bit of suspense. <laughs> You can see um, my co-writer and I, Butch Hartman and Steve Marmel, were written there. Storyboard by Butch Hartman. All this is done in blue. Um, we would do it in blue because the blue wouldn't Xerox, and we could trace it onto the cell. And uh, all this old school stuff. Let's see what else I got here. Um, oh, this is cool. That's a background. Uh, we just put the words "the end" over this. The end. This is actually painted on a piece of cardboard, a piece of uh, you know paper. It's got the animation peg holes down here. And uh, if I wanted to lay this cell over that background, you would see Timmy just against that background. That's how animation done, man. Old school, right there. Oh, this is cool. This was an episode called Too Many Timmies. And this is the title card for it. Uh, the title sequence was a bunch of Timmies just walking in a cycle from infinity and coming out. So it's basically a, an endless Timmy Turner walk cycle. Because uh, in this one, Timmy clones himself. You may have seen this uh, this short on uh, the Oya oh yeah cartoon show on Nickelodeon years ago. This is over 20 years old, but uh, it's just a title card sequence I wanted to do. Uh, this particular episode was written by, uh, storyboarded by Butch Hartman and Zach Moncrief. I forget which episode this was. Was it Where's the Wand? It might have been. I guess look at this. Yep, there's the end. Oh wait, there's the end. And that goes over this. That's what that would look like. See there, that's pretty much how it would look. So yeah, fancy schmancy. What would you guys pay for one of these cells? Would you pay a million dollars or two dollars? Anyway, you never know, maybe I can make two dollars. Okay, so all this is really cool. Um, you know, there's the, there's the ink of that cell you just saw. Oh, this is cool, this is called a field guide. <clears throat> That's a field guide. That basically showed you how, how close the camera was going to zoom in. That was our fancy schmancy camera guide. A lot of inking here, a lot of, uh, yeah, there, that, so this was, this went like this. It went like this. Too many Timmies, too many Timmies, and that's kind of, the, the Timmies marched under there. What else do I have here? Oh, wait, and check this out. Look, there's a little guide I did. Timmies walk through the scene. Laying out the animation right there. That's the one I sent to Korea. I did this drawing here. This is my drawing. I sent them this guide to show how they walk through the scene. 
and they transferred it to their paper. And we eventually made cells out of it, but that's kind of what they did. That's their version of my, here's my drawing. So there we go, there's the drawing, there's the guide, and there's that. I don't know, I think it's, I, you know, I'm fascinated by this stuff. I, I always have been. Um, when I got to go to Disney Studios and work as an intern back in the 80s, I got to go into the Disney morgue where they have all their old anime. I mean, every every movie they've ever made animation-wise on paper, they have it all stored down there, every scene. And it was fascinating, fascinating to go through and look through all of the animation. Um, what else do I got here? Not this. No, it's just a bunch of lettering. That's cool. Ooh, another, look at that, a background. That was for, oh look, here's some animation of Wanda popping into scene. This is the Nickelodeon um, short ID I was talking about where the Nickelodeon heart comes up and Cosmo and they're on either side of it. You can see when they would pop in the, uh, the way they would do the magic. They pop in so quick. They squash and they stretch. You see, if you look at Wanda here, can you see this? So it goes from here. Squash, stretch, and yeah, these are like two frames each. Oops, wait. This is like two frames each. Can you see that in there? I don't want to see. Okay, there you go. But when when the when the fairies would pop in, what I called for was like they would there'd be nothing. Then they would go pop like that, and they would pop back to their normal size. So this would be her final resting pose, right here. But they'd go from nothing to popping in like real like doink, and squashing down and then going to a resting pose there. There's another squash pose there. And here's the, here's where they, they held their, oh yeah, here we go, here's a cell. Hold on. Oh yeah, this cell called for them, this bit called for them to start off in black and white. And then they popped the Nickelodeon heart on and then they were in color and the heart was in color, it was orange. And then the heart tipped over and dumped orange on them. You may have seen that years ago back in the day. But uh, this, this is the original animation for it. Yeah, there's a scene of them, there's a shot of them getting the orange spilled on them there. Pretty cool. So yeah, what else we got here? Oh yeah, there's you know, all black and white. And this gray background was for the black, yeah, that was what that was for. Oh, and here's the orange heart. <laughs> See there? That's a cell. This is actually, I don't even think I've touched this for 20 years. Listen as I pull this off the paper, how the paint is stuck. <laughs> the paint has been stuck to the paper. Wait. So there, there's the, there's the orange heart, all drawn by hand. There you go. That's a better shot of it. Yeah, so, anyway, that's just some cool stuff in my office, guys. I got more. Oh, here's. Oh, this is kind of cool. There's where the heart appeared. The orange there. There's Cosmo one in, in color. So it's kind of a cool little set. Uh, a, a cool little piece I did. It was um, a lot of fun. It was Cosmo Wanda up here in black and white. Then they appear full color, and then they appear all orange. And that was done in 10 seconds, just to advertise Nickelodeon. Pretty fun. <laughs> and that was really an honor for me to do, because like that, that showed me Nickelodeon believed in the show so much, they were letting me do a commercial for Nickelodeon. That was a huge huge um, burst of confidence that I got at that time. It was so much fun. One last thing I'll show you. This one is from a very old school episode of The Fairly Odd Parents. This scene is where, um, uh, I forget what episode this is. Oh yeah, 717, I forget what episode it is. I know maybe you guys do. But look at all the moving parts in this episode. We got Timmy Turner, he's floating, he was meditating. These candle flames are burning. Vicky's on this separate cell. And these are the original incarnations of Timmy's parents where you can't see their heads. And they're in there as well. And they're all on different cell levels. They're all taped down. You see how they're taped? This is a covering cell to protect it. I love, I should frame that, I love that. Um, but everything's on a separate cell. See, I got Vicky and Timmy on a cell there. Hear the paint sticking? <laughs> the, see the Timmy and the, and the uh, candles are on different cell levels. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, the candles by themselves. Guys, everything in animation, everything in animation, anything that moves has to be on its own separate level because it all has different timing. You know, here's Timmy. Can you see Timmy's cell level there? Timmy's timing was different than the candle timing. 
Vicky's timing, oh, where's Vicky? Vicky's timing was different than Timmy's timing. The parents' timing was different. Everything is timing in animation. It's all about how characters move, how objects move, how natural elements move. It's really, really exciting. But he, he's... He's fine. In fact, Vicky, I think we'll have little need of your services in the future. Timmy seems perfectly capable of taking care of himself. Hope you guys like that. You guys want to see more videos like this where I just kind of pull stuff out of my office from my, uh, my history and animation. I'd love to have you guys see some more stuff that I've done. Drawings, cells, concept art. Let me know if you guys want to see more of that stuff, okay? All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I so appreciate it. As always, don't forget, art gives you power and old, cool, awesome animation to look at. Use it wisely. Hey, heart fans, subscribe here to keep up with me, Danny, Timmy, Dudley, Bunsen, and the Noob Network, my new app full of cartoons, shows, and games. Download it here. Click over here to watch my most recent video and here to start a playlist related to this video. Whoa, check out that awesome fan art. To be featured here, use hashtag heartfanart and tag me. I'm on every social media platform known to man. Cartoon Butch out. Pencil drop. <laughs>